Hi, this is a price action analyst. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, I hope you like the new intro theme. Um, I want to have a look at a trade I'm in. This is an option trade I'm in on Biogen, B I I B. Um, so I'm in this uh, with an option debit spread, a call option debit spread. So um, that means I have bought a 285 call option and I sold a 287.5. Uh, they're both August 14 options. So they expire this coming fri Friday. It's um, Sunday the 9th of August today. So they expire on Friday. So another five trading days. Um, so yeah, 285, uh, is a call I bought and I sold at 287.5 and now I paid 0 0.8205 for those. Um, so they cost me 0 0.82 and so the maximum is the difference between the debit spread. So if price expires on Friday above 287.5, so for example, if 280, price is 287.51 and above, then that call option debit spread will expire for the maximum, which is 2.5. So I'm hoping to change 0 0.8205 into as close to 2.5 as I can get. Um, and again, in previous videos, I've pointed out that I prefer at the moment um, option debit spreads to naked options. Um, you'll see in this case, the, the naked option, which would have been more lucrative, but, um, I think, you know, in the majority of cases, the debit spreads are much more forgiving. So just looking at this chart, um, I want to go into why I, um, chose this. So the, uh, the brown lines are support and resistance lines that I've marked out. So you can see prices had, uh, <clears throat> substantially increased here and, and Biogen seems to go through periods of consolidation and then big jumps. Um, so we had a big jump here and then you see all this support level was painted in and held, you know, every time price came down here to test it, it was, there was a push off of that. And so, you know, for whatever reason, price had jumped up here and sort of held the support level. Um, this wick had, uh, you know, you'd seen, uh, it, it had acted as resistance. You'd seen selling off there, you know, once, twice. The first time the selling had been rejected and again around uh, the support level. And the next time price had consolidated and ended up washing this level here. So as price washed that level here, you had seen a, a push off of that. So... <clears throat> This consolidation could be framed up um, with these uh, pink lines into like a descending triangle. So given this run up and then this um, descending triangle consolidation, I was expecting price to push out of here on the upside, uh, which it has. So I'm just gonna go into the dailies. So I entered this trade on the 3rd of August, which was here. Um, and so why I did that is, so this is now daily bars. We're looking at that triangle consolidation that wa when it washed, when it washed this pivot, and again, it was an attempt to cycle down to resistance, which was again rejected. And it was part of this sort of, big move up here. So there was a gap up here that just, um, you know, the buyers had defended this level relentlessly. And so when it jumped up here, it made a gap and price, price hadn't filled the gap until here. And then price again tried to move down and it formed a wick. And so that, you know, the gap had already been filled, yes, but this 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 was a, another wash of this pivot, another attempt to push down here that had been rejected. So on this day, I ended up taking a long position here. Um, and again, 
within this big triangle consolidation, this, you know, this move up here had formed another mini consolidation, which is, you know, favoring the uptrend line. So it just seemed to me that it was giving every indication that it was going to push out of here on the upside. And so on the third, if third, it looked like that. Um, and I'll admit these days here. So there was one, two, three, four days where it just, you know, it kept getting to this level and coming down and coming up and it just wouldn't push through it. And then on the Friday I woke up and price had gapped up. So, um, you know, I didn't, I, so when I sort of expect price to push up on the upside here, I don't, I don't, I expect it to do that, but I have no expectation of how it's going to do that. So the fact that it gapped up here was just luck. You know, it could have made a, a big buying bar out of here and a retrace and then a push up or, you know, there's a number of ways that it could have done it. So there, I wasn't um, projecting that price was going to gap up like that. I just expected a breakout to the upside here. And so this is evident of, you know, when price coils, it tends to just push out when it breaks out of the coil. And so you got a big volume spike and prices um, up there now. So on the day I entered, it was about 275 and it closed at 305 on Friday. So my, my option spread went from 0.8 to about 2.0. Um, but the only problem with that is, you know, I tried to get out at say two, 2.1. And then when, as soon as you put in the order, it, the changes to like 1.8. And the reason I wasn't willing to take that, even though I've doubled my money is that I was watching the price action intraday. And so we had a gap up and it moved down, but price is kind of you know, what it basically did, you know, if you had price action up here, it would have been a spike up and a consolidation and then it pushed out of here. So price still looked very strong um, on Friday. And so basically now I've got a, 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 a sell order in a 2.45. And so my expectation really is that price is going to hold above 287.5. Over the course of the next trading week, and so I'll be more sure of that if we can get price to push up past you know the high of that day, which was uh, three one two. So we'll see what price does um, tomorrow. But if it starts to push up, that's a that's a you know that's a good indication. I will probably weather it if it comes down here. But if it start if it starts to push below the low, uh, I'm probably going to have to look to make an exit. So, you know, I could have, I probably could have got 1.9, maybe, maybe they're, they're, you know, the options market is not really, I wouldn't say in quotes, a fair market, um, you know, and if price comes against me, they're going to try and lowball me on the price, but I'm going to take my chances next week and see, you know, my, my expectation now is prices, it's at 305. I'm going to think it's going to hold above 287.5 for five trading days. And so something that's useful in that regard, you know, if you look to where price has spiked up in the past, it doesn't just fill the gap right away. It, it you know, it's kind of meandered in that bar. Like if, if price can do that next week, I'm good. You know, if it, as long as it just doesn't come down and close the gap. Um, you know, here it gapped down. And within five days, you know, it didn't, it didn't retrace very much. It took two weeks for it to close the gap. Um, here was a gap down again, you know, that gap didn't close for about two weeks. So I'm, I'm going to take the bet that price is going to stay above and then I'm going to get, try to get as close to 2.5 as I can. Um, so that is the Biogen trade again. Um, the gap is really luck. You know, I, I did expect a, a breakout. I mean, I took this trade hoping for a breakout to the upside and I did expect it to be strong. Um, but I, you know, I never, I never really expected that. But it, I mean, if you look historically at this thing, it, it's coiled and then gapped.
it tends to do that. You know, it coils and then gaps. Coils and gaps. So I guess, you know, if you, if I, I considered the price more, you might have expected that. But I don't, you know, this trade doesn't need a gap to work. It just needs, you know, it just needs a push out of there on strength. So anyways, I'll take it. Um, so I just thought I would share that trade with you. That's Biogen B. Double IB. Um, I took that on the third of August, and they're August fourteenth um, options, and they are that is a call option debit spread. So, thanks for watching. Um, please like and subscribe the video, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.